after a long 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 time we have a new patch you can see here on the background we have a new default background i don't really like this one the new one it seems a bit out of place with the moving clouds and everything else compared to all the others but oh well let's log in one thing you will notice here as i'm fighting is the new damage numbers we have shortened it to you know the closest million maybe there is another one for billion as well i can't do billion damage here we have the patch note the last one was quite some time ago may 30 now it's 4th of july actually it's 5th now better art for the grasslands in world one oh, wow we have new art in town eh, i kind of prefer the old one especially when you reach world two you will have a pretty big shock how not moving everything is but i guess for a new player this is better and here is the green mushroom pretty good with the grass oh, is this the same grass every time mm, i think it is can't really remember how, what it used to look like i have to look at an old video but yeah it seems to be the same every time it doesn't really fit in with the old platforms mm. and then once you reach this area everything is old so yeah i don't know not that bad but yeah we saw the new damage numbers before made attack talents have a larger top left border basically it's a bit more obvious which talents are attacks and which are passive bonuses now mm, yeah that's not that big of a difference you know i guess it's a tiny bit bigger this one is the same is that the same as that one like this one is like one mouse and this one is smaller than one mouse hmm. this one is really tiny and soft edges yeah i don't really know what they mean why do we have three versions of them now oh well and then a small description to the arcade shop showing which bonus rotation we are on and how i change the rotation each update and how you keep bonuses from previous rotations current shop rotation 7 you keep all rotation bonuses new rotation come in each update not really sure what that means well it doesn't matter at least it says you keep the old one added insta lab followers to all world three monster rad drop tables that's good was a bit weird that insta labs became the hardest one to farm made grand frogger and eldritch frog cards passive they give percent chance to start with rng items that's good hopefully he will add more things to passive in dungeon no one wants to have a dungeon build in their cards this one is passive this one is not passive not passive but yeah i guess this was only grand frogger and the eldritch frog that i don't have talent library auto select your overall class instead of always showing warrior to start with saves you a few clicks and saves you from accidentally buying the wrong books all crafting recipes at the end will now start with equipment ingredients in the top left corner if there is an equipment ingredient a bit easier to navigate when crafting equips okay let's check it out mm, not sure what changed you can see there is an error here something like that wait what he said the top left corner it broke almost instantly i guess they only start with it then they go all around the place again no the royal baronet has the steel axe in the wrong place uh yeah good one there the bows works the mage staff has works those works warrior weapon was ignored the net uh, is in the wrong place axes were fixed pickaxes fixed fishing rods and nets were ignored when choosing talent books in the talent library your current max level of that talent will pop up over your player's head helpful oh let's check it out oh look your max level 100 wow this is useful there we go yeah this is an awesome change well done lava sell all added dungeons found in the NPC shop where you buy things with in dungeon cash i will check that out later don't feel like doing a dungeon right now if you disconnect or crash during a dungeon run you will have your dungeon passes refunded although you will keep no dungeon credits flow was made during the run this is good or bad this means people can leave the team if they have a bad low level teammates I expect to see a lot more people uh, crashing when playing with randoms birthday cards have a new description put on your reading glasses arl not the secret reading glasses i accessory in game take a look okay can we finally use all those birthday cards we have saved up birthday card 
Quest item, hold down to read the card. There is a 1 in 75 chance it contains a birthday hat recipe and a 74 in 75 chance it contains a few dollars from grandma. And we got 214 coins. Thank you, grandma. Cauldron boots now max out at level 170. And we'll have a golden max level text underneath to honor your amazing accomplishment of real merit. Anyone who has above level 170 will have their levels reduced down to 170. Added store chest 14 to the middle desert rare drop table mafioso smashed potatoes. Hmm. Added store chest 22 to a world 4 mob. Added store chest 23 to a different, cooler, just overall more solid and genuine world 4 mob. Boost the drop chance for inventory bag G by 1.5 times. Added more storage chest space to the gem shop. Why do we need all this storage space all of a sudden? So here we have the old chests and here we have the another 10. Wow. I guess we can buy one. There we go. Don't buy them all at once. Buy them as you need them. There we go. Lots of space. Oh. We haven't even used it yet. Interesting. This item does nothing. You got the nine storage slots instantly when you bought this. Consider this a receipt of purchase. You can throw it away. We will drop it and pick it up. And then we will, well, we will save it. Because it's a cool chest. Bug fixes. Fixed an error where blobfish critters would sadly disappear after being unlocked. Never to be seen again. They will no longer do such a thing. And I need to add that this was my fault and not the blobfish's fault. They would never choose to abandon you like that. Fixed a graphical issue with a VIP library. Could visually show up if interacted with even if you hadn't unlocked any VIP membership. Overwhelmed golden egg. The pet breeding upgrade now correctly gives it bonus. It bonus would also change slightly. The type of bonus is the same. The numbers are a bit different. Fixed an issue where using a talent reset potion or a star talent reset potion would also reset the other talent presets. This will no longer happen. Party starter wizard tower. Now as a functioning second trait of all towers in the entire map get 50% damage. Ooh. Party starter just got really good. Fixed a frog dungeon desunk issue where other people would drop eldritch rib cages, but they wouldn't count for other people. Now it works. Fixed an issue where for new players, the TPP toilet paper postage star talent would stay max at level zero, no matter what boost you had to it. Death note skill count would no longer go bonkers on mobile if above 2 billion kills. Fixed an inconsistency issue where the 10th player would not give sigil XP if placed in sigils. Journeyman's base luck family bonus now correctly applies as bonus to all characters. Idle skilling talent now correctly gives EFK gain rate for cooking, as cooking is indeed one of warrior's specialized skills. Tempestuous emotions talent now correctly gives skilling XP for cooking for warriors again. Fixed fishing XP hour AFK to more accurately reflect how much XP you actually get. J-Man's piggy bank talent no longer visually messes up void coins on the ground when used. Luster bug catching net now shows up as a green catching net as opposed to the previously purple dimension net. World 2 constellation counter in telescope menu will now correctly count all 8 constellations if you unlock them all. It used to show 7, 8 at most even if you found all eight well sadly for me it's still seven eight i guess i haven't found all of them fix the display of rarity upgrade for pet breeding to not display a weird number if you have gilded shells achievement unlocked construction hard building bars will no longer show up for empty spaces in other words hard bars will only show up above actual construction projects you have unlocked okay fixed xp and pet enemy fight HP and column boosting display beyond 1 trillion. Damn. It now shows correctly, for example, 3T out of 54T. Fixed an issue where chance for two ladles. Post office bonus wasn't correctly doubling ladles when triggered. Fixed spawn point on the stilted seeker map. Edit a description of no bubble left behind. Lab bonus to mention that you must play each day to get the bubble levels each day. 
changed how world three four mini bosses respawn mechanic work you know how the more days you go without spawning them the more will spawn well it used to be the more days of logging in the more will spawn that is no longer the case in other words if you don't play eidolon at all for a few days you will still get a few days of mini boss progress this is a good thing don't worry because an error in alchemy player info if your player is assigned to a sigil it will now say so before it will say null instead hmm. All bonus pet damage when doing the pet battle arena now properly work. This one is huge as it was incorrectly ignoring bonus pet damage for meals, vials, achievement and even the beast monster talent. Oh wow. None of them used to work. Damn. People are gonna blow up in arena now. Cooking efficiency equipment bonuses notably from the cooking ring now correctly apply to cooking efficiency oh nice the cooking rings works again no longer useless the massive fig meal now correctly gives its bonus changed american tipper start talent description to no longer say it isn't additive with any other bonus as this was never the case black diamond rhinestone no longer applies to the line with bonus as to avoid fringe case disconnect still applies to every other food bonus Kilroy's speech box will close automatically if you open up other menus. This was a frustration some users pointed out, where you could accidentally interact with Kilroy because you forgot to close his box before opening something else. Yes, this was annoying. He just wouldn't shut up. Fixed an issue where two timestamp bonuses lab bonus wouldn't work until you swapped characters. Oh wow. It now works instantly when you open a game, as it should. Yeah, pretty damn good bug fix. I would say this is a very good patch. Most people have been crying for quality of life and bug fixes for a long time. We finally got some. Anyway, that's it for this little patch. This is the new update announcement. And here in the future content blog, there is a teaser for the next patch. The next update is going to be the world for boss and the world for pet, since those unlock after you kill the world boss. So yeah, we finally get the world for boss, the troll, the guy from the tutorial that caused this mess in the first place. I guess you are excited about that. You can review the game on Steam. Other than that, I think that's it for this patch. Very good stuff. And it has been a while, like I said in the start. But yeah, a very strong comeback. And that's it. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.